Thanks for clicking. Have you ever wondered how many hairs are on your head? Fascinatingly enough, it ranges from between about 100,000 to 150,000 hairs on your head. And daily, we lose between about 50 and 125 hairs. However, our body has the amazing ability to replace them on a routine basis. In addition to its aesthetic function, hair acts as an indicator of health. It can indicate adequate blood flow to the scalp, and it can reflect hormonal and nutritional balance in the body. In this journey, we'll explore the intriguing world of hair loss, also called alopecia, and discover the age-old question, is there really an effective solution to hair loss? There are decades worth of clinical studies and research proving out the effectiveness of products and therapies supporting the reduction and prevention of hair loss, and in some cases, even regrowing hair. In this video, we'll be going far beyond finasteride and minoxidil. We'll discuss various cutting edge products and therapies that are very promising for the reduction and prevention of hair loss. Alopecia is not just hair loss. It's a condition when we lose more hair than we can regenerate. But is it possible to solve this problem? Alopecia occurs when the balance between losing and regrowing your hair simply gets out of control. Your body's out of balance. In men, this is usually genetic linked to dihydrotestosterone or DHT. For women, it can be related to metabolic or hormonal imbalances. Hair loss often has deeper roots than we can imagine. Aside from genetic factors, stress, diet, and many other aspects of our lifestyle, they can all play a crucial role in our hair health. Now let's explore five commonly used and recommended treatments to prevent and treat alopecia. Imagine a drug available over the counter that can stimulate new hair growth. And it has decades of studies and clinical information that can support that statement. If you're watching this video, or if you've read our technical article, you're probably aware of minoxidil. Minoxidil in its most popular form, it's applied directly to the scalp, dilating blood vessels and improving blood flow to the hair follicles. Keep in mind that much of your hair doesn't necessarily die and disappear. It just may be micronized, which is also called vellus hair. Vellus hair is short, thin, and often light colored, barely noticeable hair. Oftentimes, you hear it called peach fuzz. Now this hair can often be revitalized. When you use minoxidil, patience is key. Results can take months, but you have to keep to that daily regimen, keep to the labeling, and stay with your doctor's recommendation. You don't want to miss a day keep it consistent. And for many people, even after a few weeks, you can start feeling that hair coming back. Now visualize the daily application of minoxidil. You want to keep it a ritual to revitalize your scalp. This medication has been a subject of studies that support its effectiveness in most cases, but it's essential to maintain realistic expectations and understand that it's not necessarily a permanent solution. Decades of use in studies suggest that you need to stay on it for the rest of your life or else you can potentially lose what you've gained. Similar to minoxidil, if you're watching this video, you've probably heard of finasteride. This drug, also known as Propecia, can be purchased over the counter as well in many countries and it blocks the production of DHT. Although studies have shown that it can be effective in up to 90% of men, medical consultation is crucial as it can have some side effects. With all of these drugs, therapies, and products, you need to check with a medical professional. With finasteride, we're going beyond the dilation of blood vessels in the scalp. We're taking a step towards controlling the hormone behind the hair loss. However, it is important to note that each person responds uniquely to this treatment and benefits may vary. Minoxidil and finasteride can serve as a backbone to keeping your hair, and they can be a crucial and indispensable part of your daily regimen for hair retention. Imagine a natural solution. Platelet-rich plasma, or PRP, uses components from our own blood to stimulate hair growth. Applied to areas of hair weakness, it can be effective in up to approximately 70% of cases. Visualize hair rejuvenation as your own blood works its magic. In addition, 
Some studies suggest that combining PRP with hyaluronic acid can further enhance results. What if you can give your body an extra boost to keep your hair strong and healthy? Vitamins and proteins with hyaluronic acid can do just that. Whether applied directly or supplemented, these helpers can make all the difference, and research is proving very promising. Think of these vitamins as allies that strengthen the hair structure from within. In addition, some products also contain essential minerals that complement this holistic approach to healthcare. Visualize a treatment that acts as a special medicine for the hair. Think of hair mesotherapy. Hair mesotherapy involves injecting vitamins and amino acids directly into your scalp to strengthen your hair. Simple and painless as they say, this treatment is like giving your hair a boost of essential nutrients. Imagine each injection as like a revitalizing hug for your hair follicles. This customized approach has become increasingly popular because of its ability to address the specific needs of each patient. Now that we've explored these fascinating treatments, here's a big question. Can we use these therapies together? Do they work in synergy? Does one plus one equal three? How much synergy can we get and is it necessary to talk to a physician before starting it? Studies are suggesting that combining these therapies can be an effective strategy, but their effectiveness may vary depending on the underlying cause of the hair loss and the response of each individual person. Now, before you embark on any combination of treatments, it's important to get guidance from a physician or dermatologist who specializes in hair health to ensure that it's taken appropriately to minimize any side effects. Let's take an example of the joint use of minoxidil and finasteride supporting effectiveness. Taken together, studies literally date back decades and our research goes back over 20 years of data and studies showing that these two drugs can be taken together. An example here is from 2002, going all the way back 20 years, suggesting that this combination may be more effective than each treatment alone. However, it is crucial to note that an individual response may vary and medical supervision is essential to adjust the dose and evaluate possible side effects. What do the research and clinical data suggest? Let's talk about the sound scientific basis behind these products and therapies for hair reduction and prevention. Minoxidil. Numerous studies support its effectiveness, potentially going back for decades. There have been studies ongoing for many years suggesting and proving out the effectiveness of this product. The example given here is a 2011 meta-analysis concluding that it's safe and effective for the treatment of androgenic alopecia. Finasteride. Similar to minoxidil, there are literally decades of information in clinical trials and studies that have been done. Long-term clinical studies. An example here that I'm giving is a trial dating all the way back to 1998. They've been studying finasteride, demonstrating significant reduction of hair loss in men with androgenic alopecia. Platelet-rich plasma, or PRP. The research that we have doesn't date back as far as finasteride or minoxidil, but studies are proving to be very promising. A study in 2020 suggests improvements in hair density and thickness, although more research is needed to establish clear guidelines on the optimal frequency and duration of the treatment. Vitamins and proteins with hyaluronic acid. This treatment is also relatively new based on our research as compared to finasteride or minoxidil, but this area is developing and promising. One study from 2015 suggests potential benefits in hair strengthening, but more research is still needed. Hair mesotherapy. This therapy is also relatively new compared to finasteride and minoxidil based on our research, but a study dating back to 2014 explored the improvements in hair density and hair thickness with this approach. The evidence supports the effectiveness of these therapies, but personalized medical consultation is key. Your physician can guide you on the right combination, adjusting the therapeutic approach according to your individual needs. Remember, everyone is different and your hair health is unique and relying on the expertise of a professional will help you ensure safe and effective results. Don't underestimate the power of medical consultation in your journey to hair revitalization. In conclusion, 
While there is no miracle cure for baldness, these treatments definitely offer hope and positive results. For many people, the future of hair research promises exciting advances, and the key is to explore options that fit your individual needs. The solution to hair loss may be closer than you think. There have been many testimonials from people who have experienced significant improvements. Step by step, you can meet your goals. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that bell so you don't miss our next update and share your experiences in the comments. We'd love to hear your stories. We'll see you in the next episode. Here's to your health and having a great head of hair.